Hi guys, uh, Jay here back with another FFP video. Um, let's go over the event for tomorrow. It looks like we're doing the uh, FF12 event. Uh, I don't know too much about that game. I remember beating it, but I barely have any uh, memories of it. All I remember is Vaughn. So, some of the guys in the forum say, oh, it's their favorite uh, FF game. Or for whatever reason, I just can't remember it. But, see if you can remember these characters. Uh, Rothier, Bash, Grace, Vane, and Larsa. Larsa sounds familiar. Was Drace the bad guy? Can't remember at all. Now, <laughs> since I'm broke, I can't really afford summons. I can only do simulated summons. Let's do 10. What do we get on a 10 plus pool? Ha! <laughs> Even simulation, I can't get a uh, rainbow. Or I would have lost 5,000k. I would have lost 10,000k. Oh, 15, 15k in Lapis, I would have got Balthier. And all the a <laughs> double rainbow simulation. Ah, uh, yeah, but enough of the garbage, I guess. Free to play, what can I do? That's like a Balthier. Um, he looks like a finisher from what I see. It's a 5 star, and his TMR is a pretty strong uh, gun. Let's see. His attacks are interesting. It reduces uh, lightning elements or water resistance for uh, 60%, so that will go well with Titus. And then light resistance by 50% degrees, but we already have that with our land and stuff. And then uh, killer shot, so 2.5 uh, damage with it. ignore defense 50%. That's pretty good. And it enables finishing blow for one turn. Finishing blow uh, five times will ignore defense to 50% to one enemy. So that's pretty good. So I guess you will have to use killer shot and your Finishing blow would be your finisher after a chain. I'm not too sure about him. Um, I'm not a fan of finishers. There's just no room in my party for them. You got your tank support damage dealers. So I kind of run out of space for finishers. It could be good. We'll have to see. If you lack a finisher, you might use them. Um, the other 5 star in the banner is Bash. Now, I'm more excited about this guy. He's a uh, cover tank. His TMR. That's a pretty darn good shield. Look at all the high stats. I mean, there's physically V10%, that's not much. But look at the high stats. Defense 60, Spear and 70. That's pretty high. I mean, his skills, he can debuff. That's kind of like Warrior of Light. He can buff. But I don't know if we really need that. We have uh, Ramza and Salil now. More debuffing, 50% 50 50 is decent. Uh, the top end can do 60%. 50% is pretty good. Uh, breaks, Magic, Spirit, Attack and Defense. Here's the thing I like. He can be both uh, warrior like and Mystia. He can have a chance to protect all allies from magic damage 75%, so that's Mystia. He has to protect all allies from physical damage 75%. So, yeah, he's like almost Mystia and warrior like in one. But I heard from the uh, FFBE video that only one will activate at a time. But that's still good. You wouldn't have to bring two into a fight. 
Now he has a undead passive, but he's a tank. What good is that for? <laughs> and a couple of stuff to boost his survivability. Uh, some counter in case you want to build up your uh, LP gauge for the team. Uh, oh yeah, that's that. We, we have too many of these um, finishers that do very high damage. Uh, I don't know, we just have too many of them. Uh, Drace, I'm not too sure about him, but I like his uh, sword. If you pair that with leather arms, it will boost your magic by quite a bit, since you can stack leather and arms. The Ignis uh, TMR. So if you don't have Sylvia or um, Fravia, they have a sword similar like this. I wouldn't mind getting a Drace just for the TMR. As for his character, eh, I'm not too excited about. Uh, not much information about Achilles. 25%, <laughs> I don't know what it does. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Uh, dark Barrier. We have a few people that can already uh, decrease Dark Resistance. Increase uh, Dark Resistance to all allies, so... Yeah. Um, you can increase the Spirit by 45% for 4 turns, and it's kind of low. Considering you have Rams on Sylveo. And then restore 60 MP over 4 turns. Uh, with no modifiers, I don't think that's gonna do much. So, I, I'm not really sure what type of character he is, but... Oh, I guess I just get his uh, sword. Forget about him. Vane? What is he? His uh, TMR is subpar. HP by 20%, attack and magic by 15%. I'd rather have like one strong uh, buff like HP 30% or attack 50%. This is like a third and a third, no good. We have no room for that in our uh, material slot. So. Magic Beer and Forest Beer, that's what I'm looking at. It says mitigate magic damage taken by 24.8% for two turns. Very specific. Now, it doesn't say is it to himself or to an ally. Now, if it's to an ally, it could be very useful. But I doubt it. If it's for himself, then it's pretty useless. Same thing with Forest Beer. If you can cast that on an ally that's tanking, it's pretty decent use, but it's just for himself, forget it. Ah, that's pretty much enough for Vayne. Larsa, the 3 to 5 star, so you're not expecting much from him or her. Imperial Princess of him. Uh, HP and 5%, Spirit 20%. Heal 60 HP for ah, garbage. Phoenix down, one ally for 30%. Um, does she have any usable skill? Sometimes a 3 star have at least one usable skill. I guess um, his LB is decent. I, I don't know. Probably not. Pass. Okay, so our event is called uh, Yensa Sansi. If you play the game, you probably know. I totally forgot about it. So you get rare summon tickets, limited abilities, and equipment. Brothier and Bash gets 100%. Uh, Drace gives 75%. Vayne gives 75%. Larsa 
that's gonna suck for me because there's like no tickets this month. Um, bash uniform as subpar. 32 defense, 18 spirit, confused null. I mean that's good if uh, you're new to the game, but by now you should have some decent uh, resistance to confuse already. And you could always buy it, that confused resistance from the fat chocobo. I mean, I might use this just for the 10% HP, but probably not. Very expensive to 15,000 uh, relics and the vortex of judgment. There's no info on it yet. So, uh, these uh, ability materials are subpar. Increase attack 10%, increase physical damage to fears 20%. Come on, those are garbage. At least give us HP 10%. Same with the uh, spirit magician. I'm, I'm probably gonna pass on these. I mean, let's say you got four and you fight a fairy boss, you will have a 80% uh, bonus damage against fairies, I guess. I mean, are you gonna save all these materials just for fairies? Uh, I don't know. A very interesting thing here. These King Maga events has been giving out uh, uh, fully TMR, full TMRs. Last time we got... Um, Oh, what is it? The uh, next growth egg? It gave us 1.5 boost to EXP. This time we're getting dual cast. This is a very good, uh, very good uh, uh, material. Or, yep. When you equip it, you can uh, cast magic twice in one turn. Uh, some of your healers, let's say Area or Arifia, they don't have dual cast. If you put them on, they can cast heal twice. This is a really good material that they're giving for just 12,000 relics. It costs less than that darn cloak. For sure, get. I, uh, when I first started, I got two of these. I don't know why, but I felt it was so useful that I I upgraded two of these. 100% uh, DMR. I'll definitely get that. So what, is, what are these? Oh, you can get a uh, 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 enhancers. Oh, this is a special King Mog ones, where you can buy a uh, stuff to increase the uh, TMR. But it's, it's gonna be costly. A hundred thousand relics, very costly. Wow, well, there's a lot. Aileen, Prish, Darfina. Alright guys, uh, that's it for uh, my update, uh, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe if you have time.